What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about cars because I love cars. And not just Disney cars with the cute little eyes and the faces. No, I'm talking I love cars in general. I go to car shows every year and I love cars and cars so much that I actually turn my wife's car into a car's car. Cars, car, 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 cars, 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 car. Anyway, here it is. So, today we're talking about cars, but not in a bright, fun, happy sense of cars. This is a theory that would potentially tie. Cars uh, franchise into the Pixar universe, and this potential theory may not be an actual theory, but it's actually a statement from the director Jay Ward. Jay Ward directed all three Cars films, and he wrote a book, and in that book. He made a statement that he said was non te technically not canon, but it was his thought process on how this would work, and also his thought process on how it would connect it to the Pixar theory. But because it came from the director, it has a little more um, credibility to it. So, before we get into it, thanks for coming to my channel. I do a ton of Disney content with a splash of some other stuff like vlogs, box swaps, and things like that. Just lots of fun stuff, but mostly Disney theories. So, hit that like button and the subscribe button, and let's get into it. So, first of all, if you know what the Pixar theory is, Supercar Brothers do an awesome video about it. And then they also tie in all the other movies as they come out into the Pixar theory. I might do a Pixar theory video and just kind of wrap up everything that we've gotten up to so far, maybe. Maybe wait a little bit for another movie to come out. I don't know. Anyway, the Pixar theory basically puts all the Pixar movies into one big long timeline. Starting with The Good Dinosaur and ending with Monsters, Inc. Or Brave, depending on how you look at it. Because the theory is that Boo from Monsters, Inc. wants to try to find Sully. So, as she gets older, she's trying to find Sully, trying to find Sully. Go through the doors, can't find it. And eventually gets a door and travels back in the time and becomes the witch from Brave. And it goes on that and Toy Story and, you know, all the toys, all the characters, everything else. B&L, Pizza Planet Truck, everything all connects in each movie. Yes, they're quote-unquote Easter eggs, but they do tie into the movie as well. And the whole concept of the Pixar theory is everything is from memory. Memory controls everything. Boo's memory of Sully or Kitty was the reason that she went back in time to try to find him and his memory stayed alive and with memory staying alive we have Coco where Coco you know memory of your loved ones can potentially come back from the afterlife as long as the memory of them stays alive if someone remembers them they will stay alive in the afterlife and we see that happening when they disappear because somebody forgot about them. And with that memory, it also gives the power to toys to come alive. And cars. And it's actually a stated fact that cars have the memory and 
characteristics of the humans that drove them west. So the theory is that, you know, in the cars universe, the reason that we have older cars, newer cars, blah, blah, is because they're basically somewhere, not sure like a underground garage where all the cars start waking up and they wake up in the time frame that they would. So the cars built in 1920, they woke up first and so on and so forth. And they keep waking up in that timeline of that future setting. So with that being said, you know, Jay Wood basically says that, you know, eventually cars said, you know, they had AI and, you know, futuristic and they said, we don't need humans anymore. So we'll get rid of them. So potentially cars kill the humans off because you know, they had the memory, they have driving, they could, you know, potentially live on their own, as we see them doing in the movies. So, so the cars basically say, why are you the human beings anymore? They're just extra weight holding us down. So it's kind of creepy the fact that the director basically put cars in the like Rise of the Cars or like you know Rise of Planet of the Apes type setting where they you know rise above humans and say adios. So so yeah, cars rule the world and get rid of the humans. Because if you look at the cars itself, they have doors. Why are the doors? If people can't go inside them, what is inside of a car? Well, we have an image of a drawing, or a fan drawing of what inside the cars look like. And this is created because, quote unquote, memory of the previous driver would potentially become that car. So we actually see the actual real world people that were inspired for these cars uh, with, for, um, yeah. So the reason that we see, you know, real world people inspired with these cars uh, and the potential that, you know, the cars will wake up in the time frame shows us that, you know, Wayne McQueen being a rookie is faster than all his competitors and becomes a legend on the track. And later on we see Storm, who is a high-tech sports car, being faster than Lightning. Then we see Bob Cutlass, Daryl Cartrip, who are real uh, sports commentators, Daryl Waltrip, and and Bob Costas. Jay Limo is obviously Jay Leno. Um... And you would think that maybe Wayne McQueen could be like a Jeff Gordon, something like that, you know, a potential legend in that regards. Supercar and Brothers just released the theory that Wayne McQueen would have been the actor that played Buzz Whiteyear. That's a potential. So Basically what I'm saying is that, you know, memory keeps the cars alive. And because that memory, it ties it back to the memory of all the other Pixar movies, which ties them all into the same theory. But the fact that the cars basically rose above it all and destroyed all the humans. It's kind of scary. But what if they didn't actually destroy the humans and they just took over when the humans left on the Axiom? 
and then we have the cars and eventually cars break down and die and ride away over time and that's when Wally comes in huh that's interesting anyway that's my video for today hope you enjoyed it um comment that your thoughts down below on what you think uh like i said jay ward said that this statement is what he based it off of you know his thoughts on his films being that cars potentially got rid of humans in some way and it's kind of scary to think that you know the director went down that dark path but it's not a canon statement it's just that his thoughts on it so what are your thoughts comment down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time